Deja vu. It is as uh, West Virginia falls again. Hello, everybody. I'm Scott Callan. Welcome to the Mountaineers Now post game show presented by Country Roads Air Duck Cleaning. That's Christopher Hall. Again, West Virginia drops to TCU 81 to 65. Raekwon Battle led the Mountaineers in scoring on uh, 7 of 17 shooting, 21 points. His best offensive uh, performance in quite some time. Quinn Slazinski also had a, a pretty decent night offensively, 15 points to go with five boards and five assists. But when you look at this one, it was the defense and the turnovers, in my opinion, as uh, West Virginia gave it away 19 times in this game. TCU shot 31 of 64 from the field. They scored 44 of their 81 points inside the painted area. And Chris, this was just a, a disastrous two game road trip. Um, I mean, again, the record is, it, is what it is at this point in the season, but you would have liked to at least come away with one of these two blowout losses can't feel good about this thing uh no um you're not taking care of the ball they're not playing defense they're not physically tough enough and they're not physically or they're not mentally tough enough so that's i mean that's the story of this team seen it all year they're not getting any better um looks like they've they've quit um kind of understandably so human nature they, they faced a ton of adversity probably mentally and physically tired but yeah. They're not getting better, um, and they're going to hit much more. You know, this is, you know, you hear a lot of coaches say these are learning experiences for life. You're going to hit a lot of adversity, and you're probably going to hit a lot of it at once at some point in your life, and they have not handled it well. Um, some of it's out of their control, but if you're not putting the effort on the defense, defensive end, um, we can't even argue rebounding. They've won the rebounding battle the last two times. Albeit it's only been by one rebound, but. Um, no second chance opportunities. There's no fight on the offensive end. And defensively, they'd still do the same mistakes. And when someone comes up and is physical with them, they don't respond. Um, they're just not physically tough enough to handle it. It scouts out. <laughs> so uh, hopefully they just don't get matched up with Kansas in the conference tournament because that one's probably going to be ugly since they didn't do it the first time around. They'll probably get just absolutely pounded. Yeah, I mean, def defensively, this team's a mess. But really, I mean, on the road, they are just atrocious scoring the ball. I mean, I don't know what it is. I mean, I guess just playing at home, you're used to the sights that are surround you. I, I don't know. But this team barely averages 60 points on the road. You're not beating anybody unless it's maybe Virginia, which is not even in your conference. Um, and, and even in that case, you're probably getting held to like 40 or 35, but you're not winning games when you score 60 some points. And on this road trip, they average, I believe, 61 and a half, 58 the other night against Texas, 65 tonight against TCU. It, I mean, are, are they even running anything at times? Because that's to me, it just looks like they're just trying to go ISO. And if a play gets shut down or whatever, it's like they don't know what to do. They don't know how to react to it. They don't have like another action or another cut that they can go to, and everyone just stands there. Uh, there is. They're just walking through it. And again, teams are just being physical with them and cutting them off, and they just stand there. They don't know how to fight through it. You got to make the guy, make the official blow the whistle. Don't call their off the ball stuff. They have to hold you. They're all fast enough, they're all athletic enough. Um, they don't know how to handle these bigger physical teams, and it sh it's shown the last two games. There's 34 turnovers. Yeah, uh, Emmanuel Miller, Tennyson, and Jameer Nelson uh, all had 14 points for TCU, and this one a pretty balanced attack for them. Um, but I don't know what's gonna ha what's gonna have to happen for this team to turn it around. I mean, they got Baylor coming up on Saturday, TC or excuse me, UCF next Tuesday, so a couple of games at home. Um, I mean, outside of just getting organized, I mean, what what has to go right? I mean, it, it feels like this team's checked out at this point, like you mentioned earlier. Can you uncheck yourself out? Well, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you just have to want to go win, uh, go prove that you're not that you're not soft because right now they're playing soft all around. They're just soft, so uh, it's gut check for time for these guys. Um, I'm sure at some point they ought to aspirations NBA. I don't think that's realistic for anybody, but if you're going to go play overseas and be a professional, you're going to have off nights and you're going to have to fight through it. Um, it goes back to adversity. You're going to hit all kinds of adversity in your life and you're going to have spells where it's just all going wrong at once. And um, right now they've just not handled it well. It's almost like they're just accepting the losses and just moving on. So 
Um, if they want to show that they're competitors and they want to win, they can absolutely correct it. It's all correctable things. They just got to want it. And right now they just have not shown that they have any want to, to do anything. Yeah. I mean, I feel for Josh, because like you said, he's gone, this, this whole team's gone through a lot and he didn't ask for any of this, but at the same time, I mean, you have two games like this you really even go back to last Saturday with BYU start to wonder if, if he's just getting tuned out and if that messaging is just not going through. I mean, again, when you're eight and 15 or now eight and 16, that's bound to happen. But um, yeah, if, I mean, all, all these guys can play overseas and we'll play overseas. There's going to be guys that have eligibility left, whether they're here um, next year or somewhere else, coaches are going to see this. Um, they, that's the biggest be, key. Yeah. You're going to have to change. Um, why not change now? And, you know, they are definitely talented enough to make a run, um, without a doubt. They haven't shown him to take a win two games, but it just goes back to the mentality. Like, you just got to come in every day, every night with uh, that mentality that you want to win, you'll do what it takes to win. They're just – they're not showing it at all right now. So, we'll see if the, they're just waiting to turn it on until March. I don't know why on earth they would think they could, they could do that, but <laughs> they all they all are 19, 22-year-old kids. So, yeah, you get that a lot. Yep. I mean, at, at the very least, you're going to have eight more opportunities. You've got seven uh, here left in regular season. You are guaranteed that one in Kansas City. And then after that, probably nothing. So you got at least eight opportunities to put more stuff on tape, whether it's, again, for folks at the next level overseas, the next coach here at WVU, whether it's Tyler or somebody else, or even other places that might be uh, opening up their doors for you through the transfer portal. So there's Tons of opportunity, and and even though the record isn't what it is, you just got to go put the good stuff on tape at this point. That's all you can really worry about. So, West Virginia falls again, eighty-one to sixty-five to TCU. They're not eight and sixteen on the season, and I believe three and eight now. Don't have it up here on my screen, but three and eight uh, in Big Twelve conference play. They'll have the next few days off uh, before returning to action on Saturday at the WVU Coliseum to take on Baylor. That one will tip off at 6 p.m. on ESPN2. And we'll see if West Virginia can get back in the win column. Is that's the only place they've won this year, Chris. So maybe, maybe, maybe we can get one of these next two. So we'll see uh, what happens. Baylor's just as physical, um, just as big. So probably not. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they continue to play soft, but they are not going to win. It's going to be ugly again. The good news is baseball is here, folks. So we will have you covered for that stuff. We'll actually probably do a, a season preview at some point this week or something but uh anyways thanks for tuning in uh for this episode of the mountaineers now post game show presented by country roads air duck cleaning take me into comfort for christopher hall i'm scala county make sure you hit that subscribe button on youtube at mountaineers now smash the like button and give us a follow on x at the same handle thank you guys for watching we'll see you later